All right, I wanted to talk about um, basically some premium items you can use to help level. Um, you know, for all the years I've played this game, I've really only played one character and I hadn't had the desire to do other characters, but with this, the way these donation contests are set up with, with tokens, uh, there's just too much of an advantage, so I decided to level some characters a little bit anyway. Um, we'll see uh, in the future if I'll actually try and level them all the way up. But um, So I've used some guides and stuff to um, try to get some levels pretty quickly. Um, and I was curious about the mighty uh, Shadow Gog and if it was killable. So when you come in, so this is the house ID. So it's a level 148. Um, if you're max level, I want to say it, it's more than a million. Maybe it's more than 2 million gold. I can't remember the, the amount. Um, and the experience is pretty high too. So um, this is actually going to give me, it looks like 150k gold with this. Um, and the trick here is going to be trying to go first. But one of the things about a lot of the golden gift boxes, as well as many of the package items, but not everything, is they scale. So I've used my main to bring over several premium items. The armor I'm using is Infinite Dark Caster. A lot of people would tell you probably just use wizard robes, which is it's going to hit harder with the individual elements. It, it will but wizard robes is going to change and it's not going to be abusable at some point and so um, also it requires you to go through those quests and you have to train mage to a certain level and then you can go to wizard and so on and so forth so it's uh, time consuming um, and I didn't really feel like um, going through all that um, so this is, I believe this may be the only spellcaster armor that scales. So you're going to have to spend an ultra rare to get it. Um, and then I'm using an initiative armor. What I'm using is a Bizzle champion. Um, now my stat spread is like this. I, I have trained luck. And then um, I actually did not get... Uh, ambush potion this time but I wanted to show whether or not you can actually get when the initiative and as you can see you, you're not going to be able to so you're going to need to go in and get ambush potion which means um, you're either going to have to do the quest or you're going to have to be willing to give up a few tokens which I never really cared for um, I'm, I'm willing to just spend 20 tokens real quick. I mean, if you remember, you will have to say, do the save Lucretia quest in order to access this. So yeah, I don't mind uh, spending some tokens. I have a few tokens on the player in order to get this done. So I wanted to show that real quick. That you're going to get your ass handed to you if you don't have ambush potion so you're gonna need ambush potion and the initiative armor and then you should win all right so um, with this setup what I'm gonna do is I've got the wind the specific guest booster obviously this pet here so both of these will be able to scale from level one and that's part of the reason why I've, I'm choosing some of the items that I'm choosing it's the scalability and I'm using the same stuff throughout I am also I have these package pyro classic plasma arctic tornado the telephone booth the explosive these and creation burst these are the overcharged versions um, usually can kill a monster if you're questing at lower levels even though it's costing hit points um, I haven't had too much of a problem if we're doing um, like house guard style farming I haven't had too much of a problem you could always just do the regular versions but these will LEC the only element that I'm missing here is darkness 
and then I had this for um, the Shadow Rock, and then um, so and then Arcane Amplification is actually does not scale. It actually will um, start at level 55. Oddly enough, Unapoka scales. Um, I also have Academy Pack here. Uh, it actually scales from zero, and then the Cutlasses from the Golden Gift Boxes scale. So, and then our uh, Warlock's Oblivion Sphere also scales. So I have a total uh, intelligence boost. I'm up to 280 with. Let's see here. All right, actually it's 325 and then arcane amplification is 59 plus 59 so we'll call it 60 so I've got about 385 int in this setup and then the blocking for the shadow gog is not very high so actually this is going to be pretty simple but I also brought over the shield cakes just in case like I usually use the legion just for accuracy and then I'll bring over I haven't had to use this. This is the second day I've done this, but you can use celerity um, if you need to as a plan B in case maybe a hit misses or something. Maybe you can do a crit to get some extra damage. But you're going to see, I'll probably most likely um, do well enough. Uh, more than enough damage to to beat this level 148 monster as you can see it's overkill and then so that's pretty good for a level 73 which of course is level 74 now so basically you'll probably do this I can't remember yesterday I think I did it four times and then I capped as you can see, the experience and the gold are now drastically lower, but that's what happens when you level. So I don't know quite yet if that is going to be hitting caps yet or not, or if this is going to uh, continue to let me fight the monster. So again, I just used the shield cakes And again, what you do is you just go into Ballyhoo with your main. You send copies to your vault, and then you can just uh, rebuy everything. So pretty simple. Um, Again, a lot of intelligence, so that's going to be a lot of BTH and stat damage. And as you can see, it's more than enough to do the job. Again, I think yesterday I uh, doing this gave me six levels. We'll see what happens today. But. Um, that's it in a nutshell. You know, your premium items you can actually utilize to help you level. And because they scale, you just bring in one set of items. You don't have to go hunt for like a level 35 version, and a level 55 version, then a level 75 version, and stuff like that. You just gotta, um, in a nutshell, just bring over your premium stuff and you're going to use the same stuff. This is the same type, these are the same items I've used the entire time. Um, there's no need to try to go hunt down anything. Like I said, simple. And uh, this will likely be the sole monster that I will actually use to try to level from now on. 
pretty boring, but it, it but it's pretty quick. Um, and so there you have it.